The shoes are Michelle K. But Star, here's what kills me about the Grammys. They tell me that my first guest is going to be former Attorney General Janet Reno, <laughs> and I cannot wait to hear about when her CD drops. Well, I got news for you. If you need a little bit of help with uh, Janet Reno, yeah. I think I'm the one that can do it. Everyone's screaming for me. Yes. Hello, uh, Madam Attorney General. It's nice to see you again. Hi, nice to meet you. Now, I have to I have to ask, what are you doing here, even though I know you've already won? <laughs> That's true. Well, I'll let her tell her story. Okay. Yeah, several years ago, while I was Attorney General, I was talking to my nephew, and he was writing songs, and I said, why don't you write the history of America in songs so that it can reach young people who are not that interested in history, show the relevance of history, and do it through song, because music can open doors for young people more rapidly than almost anything I know. Ms. Marino, you are exactly right, and not only did you do that, but you've now been recognized by your peers. Yeah, it's it's an amazing thing. Uh, you know, we uh, when we started the Stephen Foster Beautiful Dreamer Project, uh, you know, we really wanted to educate and entertain at the same point. And uh, the critical recognition that we've gotten with the Grammy win is just, it's a beautiful thing, but also just as rewarding are all the teachers that have uh, l uh, told us how, how much they appreciate having the music to be able to teach their students with. And that's what this project is all about. This and what you both may not know, but President Clinton has also won in the pre show. That's what we hear. So it's a little Clinton administration kind of sweet tonight. We like that. It's wonderful to see you again. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Yeah. Wonderful. Have a wonderful evening on the carpet. Thank you. Thank you. How, what an honor that is. Kathy, yeah. I, I just got a chance to talk to the former attorney general. Who are you I know. talking to? She's power, and I've got some power in the music business. How are you? And those in the music industry are holding their breath, waiting to see who wins those coveted Grammy Awards tonight. Pop culture correspondent Teray is on the red carpet at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, having way too much fun. I am, I am having lots of fun out here. Guess what? I'm here with Janet Reno, former Attorney General of the United States. My mother never thought I'd get here with Janet Reno, but here I am. What are you wearing? You look fantastic. My nieces help find this outfit for me, and I give them all the credit. Fantastic. We're here with David Macias. The two of you are going to work on an album together. Explain that to me. Several years ago, I suggested to my nephew, who had written a number of folk songs, uh -huh. that he produce an album telling the history of America in song to reach kids who were turned off by history, who didn't find it relevant because music is a wonderful way to open the doors for so many young people. And the album's called Songs of America. Well, that's its working title, I think. My nephew went out, saw what had been done, saw that there, were, there was nothing like this, because we had envisioned preparing materials for school teachers to go with the album, to use it as a teaching tool. And then David, who has just won a Grammy right. for his Stephen Foster album, and Ed met up and started talking together, and they are now in the process of co-producing the album. Wow. I think it will be a wonderful way to educate right. and also to entertain all Americans. Now, now, you know about pageantry from your days at the White House. How does record business pageantry compare to White House pageantry? Well, it's a little bit different. <laughs> it is a little bit different. <laughs> but the beauty of music is, whether in pageant or in a simple setting, it is the universal language and can do yes. so much to bring people together. You're a big music fan, I take it? I can't carry a tune, but music <laughs> has been a part and parcel of all my life. Right, right. Now, now tell me the truth. Wouldn't you really rather be home watching Desperate Housewives? One experience like this is very good for the soul. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you very much. Back to you. A, mem a member of the Clinton administration was at the show. Former Attorney General Janet Reno was there to promote an album she's working on called Song of America. Reno, who knows a little something about rock, <laughs> says that the album will trace the history of the U.S. through music. Artists taking part include Roger McGuinn of The Birds, Mavis Staples, and Alison Krauss. We are Republicans. That's good. From the last time, James Carville. Thank you for Crossfire. <laughs> 
And in person at the Grammys, former Clinton Attorney General Janet Reno, she was there to let people know about an album she's conceived and is working on with a producer. The 50-song collection called Song of America will trace the path of U.S. history from 1620 to the present. Several years ago, I suggested to my nephew, who had written a number of folk songs, uh -huh. that he produce an album telling the history of America in song to reach kids who were turned off by history, who didn't find it relevant, because music is a wonderful way to open the doors for so many young people. Former Attorney General Janet Reno. Well, the album's release is expected next year. The proceeds will be donated to folk music education efforts.